Good afternoon, class. Thank you. You can sit down. All right, then in today's lesson, we'll um, look at a few questions uh, revising algebra, on algebra. And then next lesson, I will give you, I will maybe teach you something new on algebra to solve two other types of equations that you haven't done. But before that, we have to look at the homework, exercise six, which you were given in the previous lesson. Okay, solving three equations with three unknowns using matrices. Okay, so number one, Geno, can you please give us your answer for X, Y, and Z? X equals one, Y equals two, and Z equals two. X equals one, Y equals? Two. Two. <laughs> and Z, Z equals, equals two. Two. Number two, Patrick. Uh, X equals one on, one on five, Y equals four on five, and Z equals negative 16 on five. Negative 16 on five? Negative 16 on 5. Yeah. Okay, see correct? Yeah. All right, number 3. <coughs> Jake. X equals 5 on 9. Y equals 40 on 27. X equals, go back to X. X equals? 5 on 9. 5 on 9. Yeah. Y equals 40 on 27. 40 on? 27. It equals 29 on 27. Oh, very funny answers. <coughs> okay, number four. Boromio. X equals four, Y equals one, zero equals three, uh, zero. Okay, are the answers all correct? Yes. Okay, for questions one, two, three, and four. Good, so are you confident in solving three equations, both algebraically and using matrices? Yes? Good, okay. Next, <clears throat> like I said, um, we're going to do a bit of revision on what you should know already on algebra. And then I might have to teach you, like I said earlier, a bit of what they do in grade 12. Um, I'm going to teach you how to factorize um, sum and difference of two cubes, which we haven't done. I'm also going to teach you how to solve absolute value equations. And I'm going to teach you how to solve uh, in equations with uh, less than or great, greater than sign instead of an equal sign. Okay, so you can, you will know that before you do your grade 12. Okay, first four questions quickly, they're very easy ones, simplify. Sorry, let's just go back before you start, I forgot. Um, this exercise consists of what you should know already, how to simplify algebraic um, expressions, so you should know how to add, subtract, divide, and multiply. Then I've got some questions on removing brackets, factorizing, simplifying algebraic fractions, solving equations, and two-word problems. I've actually got um, two questions also on indices. Okay, number one, A, B, C, and D.
by five. Sorry, no, no two by five. Is the two bolty? The two outside there. You haven't got it here. What did you do? Huh? Did you thought what? Why are you dividing by two? Don't divide unless you've got an equation. That's not an equation, isn't it? Yeah, you're supposed to keep it like. Come on, that's too, too simple for you to make a mistake. Minus sign is outside, so it should be minus five. Minus two x minus five. You're multiplying, so you're supposed to use it. Multiply this by that. You have to do it. Yeah, because it says this multiplied by negative ml. No, what do you mean? Yeah, negative, negative, that's like negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. That's n to the power of 1, n to the power of 1. So you just add. Come on, you can't forget. Those are the type of things that they put on paper one in grade 12. Simple questions. Where what happened to two? You're going to multiply it now. You have to put it outside here so that it's correct all the way through. Break it and then put it outside. I 
are you doing? You forgot what you did. Why did I see him? Why? Oh, this, why this? You add, you subtract. Why can't you just multiply this and this? So five is by itself. So what the negative? Put the negative sign goes. Okay, so it's negative five. And then you just uh, multiply m cube m squared times m squared m cube. Yes, you can think, you can think, you can think, find the LCM of M plus 1 and 2M plus 3, LCM. This one six or two or four. Okay. We're supposed to find the LCM of farm. Uh, M plus 1 and 2M plus 3, the lowest common multiple. Multiply and then you just yeah, multiply, but leave them in brackets so it's easier for you to see. Jake, why, did, why are you saying plus there and plus there? You are just multiplying. You are multiplying negative by positive. So no need for pluses and minus. You just get one answer. I'm doing this because many of you have forgotten. That's all right. You're not subtracting, you are multiplying. So you're multiplying this negative mn by 5n to the power of 4n cubed. Where's the LCM? You're supposed to get the LCM because you are subtracting. You're supposed to keep the LCM. It's not an equation, so the LCM does not disappear. That is not an equation, so you're not going to say x equals seven. Where does where does the equation? Where's the equation? It just says simplify. It's plus seven. Twelve minus five is seven. Uh, you, before you know it, you'll be in grade 12, so there's no time to go over there. You're just multiplying. Negative sign will come here. You're multiplying. You're not subtracting. No, here, in front. Yeah. That's it. Finished. All right, number one, your answer is supposed to be negative five, m to the power of five, n to the power of four. Okay, negative five, m to the power of five, n to the power of four. Any answers for B? 3 times x plus 4 minus 2x plus 5 in brackets. George? Master Mike, where's the mic? The other one. X plus 7. 
x plus 7 is correct. See, Velma. Two x squared y squared minus eight z squared. Okay, good. Remember, it says simplify, and if you are talking about brackets, there must not be brackets in your answer. Okay, so if you've got um, two outside the brackets, you, you're not supposed to because you're simplifying by removing the brackets. Okay, letter D. V. M minus four times M plus two over M plus one times two M plus three. Okay, repeat, M minus four times M plus two over M plus one times two M plus three. Okay, correct. Any questions on this four? But uh, you want me to go over? Yes? This one. Okay, when you add or subtract algebraic fractions, you are supposed to get the lowest common multiple. Please don't forget. So, the lowest common multiple of m plus 1 and 2m plus 3 is m plus 1 times 2m plus 3. Then you divide m plus 1 times 2m plus 3 divided by... m plus 1 times uh, 2m plus 3 divided by m plus 1, which is the first denominator, you will get 2m plus 3. And then you multiply 2m plus 3 by 2m minus 3. And then divide again 2m, sorry, m plus 1 times 2m plus 3, this time divide by 2m plus 3 because it's the second denominator, you are now left with m plus 1 and you multiply 3m minus 1 by m plus 1. So here we get 4m squared, okay I hope this answer is correct, 4m uh, squared and then I get plus 6 minus 6 is 0, and then I get minus 9. Okay? That's a difference of two squares as well, if you notice. Okay, because we are subtracting, we have to keep the brackets. So we get um, 3m squared. I'm now multiplying 3m by m. To get the middle term, I'll get 3m here, that's 3m times 1, minus 1m. So 3m minus 1m is 2m. And then minus 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Over m plus 1 times 2m plus 3. Okay, 4m squared minus 3m squared will give me 1m squared. This will also change to minus, so minus 2m, and then minus 8 plus 1 will give negative 8. Okay, let me just... Okay, this one will become 3 minus 3m squared minus 2m plus 1. Okay, so 4m minus 3m squared is m squared, minus 2m here, and then minus 9 plus 1 will give negative 8. So over m plus 1 times 2m plus 3. If you've got it to this point, it's also correct. <laughs> but you can factorize this as 
m plus 2 times m minus 4. And that's the answer. Okay, so you actually don't need to factorize until you know you, you can um, cancel. <coughs> okay, just for interest, I put a question in the exam. And the question, after you factorize, you end up with this 3x times x plus 1 times x minus, I think it was minus 3. And then you've got x times x minus 3. Do you remember that question? Many of you actually didn't do it properly. But <clears throat> this is the step before you get the answer, which especially in this class, a lot of you got this step, step correct. And then suddenly you are canceling like this. OK, you got x minus 3 and x minus 3, correct? You can solve that. And then you are saying 3x divided by x is 2x. Is that correct? So many of you, actually, quite a few people in this class say the answer is 2x times x plus 1, which is wrong. You're in grade 11, and you don't seem to know how to cancel. You're supposed to cancel only x and x. The answer is supposed to be 3 times x plus 1. It's a three mark question. Okay, so that's the answer to letter D. Factorizing. Let's see if you remember how to factorize. Squared. Is this an A cubed and an A squared? So two A squared. Two A squared outside. Grouping. times negative 3 will give you positive. So that should be plus, that's it. That's 2a, that's a cubed and a squared, so it should be a squared, 2a squared, and you have a plus 3 inside the brackets. Okay. 
it is an a cubed and a squared to a squared highest common factor yeah so not thinking okay no, no. it's two factors of negative 32 that will give you positive 4 yeah so you go x y plus 8 times x y minus 1 you can't forget Plus four x one. Plus four x one. Yes, good. Good, good, good. Three and three hundred have a common factor of three. What's your next lesson? What do you have next? Next lesson. Yes. The quadratic gets x plus x squared plus 4x minus 32. Don't remove three. Why are you removing three? What is it? Three times y to the power of four minus one hundred. You're only factorizing, not dividing. So I leave it out. Uh, X Y minus. Oh, okay. Four times X Y minus eight. This one will be eight X minus four X Y. You need the sign so that you know what sign goes in here. It's okay. Now you are going to say you factorize this one. You say X Y. Then you'll have X Y plus eight. This one minus four x y plus eight square root of four b squared not four two b x minus and a plus plus two b minus two b Thank you. 
friends up for school stay safe. That minus sign got its multiplication sign. So never mind about the colors. A minus 3B plus 2B times A minus 3B minus 2B. So that minus sign should not be the two squares. Okay, and then you'll get the correct answer, but it's the longest way. So you get the square root of that plus there, and then minus. squared, I think, 4B is squared. Okay. But where's that B? 4B, 4B squared and you've got only 2 and 2 instead of 2B. Plus 2B and minus 2B. Difference of two squares. That's a square and that's a square. You find the square root, add to the square root, and subtract. What's that one? Difference of two squares. Square root of one plus the square root of the other multiplied by the square root of one minus the square root of the other. Remember? Yep. Good, good. Hmm? Can you? What do you say? Give me something to start with. Can you substitute? Uh, give me something to start with. Uh, yes, a difference of two squares. Come on, that's a square, not squared. So you find the square root of that, add the square root of that, then multiply it by the square root minus the square root of difference of two squares. Okay, let's have a look at those you have completed. A, B, C done? And D? Sorry, A, B, C done. Nah. What about E and F? Some haven't completed that. Okay, we'll, do, we'll look at A, B, C, and D, and then you can complete the rest for homework. Letter A? Solomon, give us your answer to A. Um, 2a squared minus c in one bracket multiplied by a plus 3 in another bracket. Oh, sorry. 2a, 2A squared. Squared minus c in one bracket. Minus c. Multiplied by a, a plus c. Okay. I didn't hear correctly. All right, that's the answer to letter A. Letter B, Andrew. Uh, X, Y plus C. X, Y minus 4 in there. X, Y minus 4. Good. So let that be X, Y plus 8 times X, Y minus 4. Let us see. Hekoi.
3 offset the brackets of y squared minus 10 and y squared plus 10. Okay, good. 3 times y squared minus 10 times y squared plus 10. Raylene, can you give us the answer to letter D? A minus B in one bracket, A minus 5B in the other. A minus B times A minus 5B. Okay, that's correct. Um, letter A, you have to use grouping. Letter B, that's a quadratic. So you have to find two factors of 32 that will give four. Let us see, you take out three first and then you will find that y is to the power of four minus 100 is a difference of two squares and then you factorize like that. And letter D, you use a difference of two squares. A minus three B squared is a square and minus four B squared is also a square. So it will be A minus three B plus two B times A minus three B minus two B. And then you simplify, you end up with this. Okay, for homework, you will do letter E and F. You, will, you also have question three based on equations. And then you have question four and five, two word problems, and question six based on indices. Okay, the keyword, for to, uh, the keyword to the pilot teacher is algebra review. Okay, stand please. Good afternoon, class. Thank you.